information we use, the, the, the survey questionnaire to determine you know, children's well-being, how they feel about their oral health, and um, their social well-being, and, 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 and how, um, what they think of their functioning in terms of like oral habits and all that. So, um, what, what, what do you find? So, well, there's, we have some kind of data, you know, some of the things that, you know, that as you notice, we are, 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 um, our, our, our basically population working with is only 24 right now. We were looking about 100, you know, yeah. not, you know, when we're doing this for the last two years, uh, you know, it would be great to have more kids, but, you know, but this is the data we have right now. Okay. So, so it's, still, it's still a work in progress. Okay, so well, what do you have, but based on the data, what do you got? Okay, so, so, we, uh, it, it, this is, let's say for example, okay, so the, C, the mean total CPQ score, so basically the CPQ score uh -huh. is, um, the higher you have the score, the higher the score is, the more issues that children have with their oral health, in terms of the social well-being, how they feel about themselves, self-confidence, okay. how they eating, how the, the monks function in the mouth. So if you notice, a lot of, uh, a lot of children are in the, you know, more children are in the low income. They're, okay. you know, low, below the poverty line, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, we, we, we comparably to children of higher income, uh -huh. they have a higher CQQ score, meaning that, you know, they have more problems with their oral health. Okay. Okay. It's, it's kind of what you see generally here. See, okay. more lower income, okay. you know, like, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, younger, younger kids are more prone to having those um, issues. In terms of how they fill out the questionnaire, yeah. and then um, and then more, and then also indicated here is that you know younger children as well, which there's, there's actually more younger children here. Uh, they have a, a higher CP score, meaning in their uh, regarding their social well-being, meaning that like the one, one question uh, mentions that. Um, can I see the questionnaire real quick, uh, Sarah? You have the questionnaire. All right. Yeah, we get so. So I'll give you an example. So uh -huh. this is the questionnaire. You can take a look at it. Yeah. So this, these are these are more functional. Like, oh, they have food stuck in their mouth. Mm -hmm. How often or uh -huh. never? How do they have sores in their mouth? Mm -hmm. And then in terms of social well-being questions, it's like, oh, have children teased you and called you names and you usually regarding a tea mm -hmm. or have you avoided smiling? Mm -hmm. So as you notice that the younger children, they tend to feel that you know they have a higher CP score. They tend to feel that they're more often. Um, the social well-being is more conflicted, you know. So that's some of the the, 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 the um, data that we were able to obtain from, you know, doing this work for the last two years. Well, the, from this, from the Kimono community. Yeah, from right? the Kimono community here in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area okay. So if you notice, we worked with a bunch of um, our uh, partner organizations yeah. here. We worked at the Promoted Community Development, yeah. Oakland, yeah. Okay, the Niagara. Oh, yeah. actually, that's a little high point there. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's okay. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, and then. Um, so this is this is in San Jose. Uh -huh. These two these two are in um, Oakland. Oakland. Yeah, and then and then of course in Naga, that's boy San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I found you. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's pretty much. Um, if you have any questions regarding you know some of the research, so, I can answer so specifically. So, what's the trend? Is it similar to what you expected to the other community? Oh. In, comparably, kind of in a sense. I mean, like this is this is basically a pilot study. Okay. So okay. all the information we're getting here is kind of just baseline information. Oh, okay. You know, we're not. Um, it's kind of give us an idea of what's going on. Okay. You know, giving. Um, but one of the main purpose of doing this is to give people who have interest in, start, in doing work with the community uh -huh. some kind of um, a blueprint Proven, okay. and how they you know, approach okay. the research okay. with the community. Uh, what about compared to other communities? Like, um, yeah, like compared to other, compared to other uh, ethnic groups and all that, you know, this is you know, some of the few information that we have here uh -huh. locally you know, uh -huh. in the Bay Area regarding voting people. Is it comparable? Also, or? You know, in the United States. But is it comparable to other groups or is it like we are worse than other, or we are better off in terms of the Well, you know, like one of the main things that um, we're trying to, uh, you know, get by doing this yeah. is to spread awareness about the deficit in oral, the oral health in okay. promoting communities. Okay. You know, we want to be able to provide this information so that we can get the resources out there okay. and you know, educate them about, you know, the, the disparity in oral health. So what your experience is like? Huh? What, what has your experience like been working well, with Well, I've experienced a lot, you know, yeah? it's, a, it's a lot of, um, it, it has gave me uh, more 
open point of view of, uh -huh. you know, the people, my mom's, you know, my mom's, people from my mom's yeah. country. Uh -huh. I was born here, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, coming from the Cambodian ethnic yeah. background, um, I kind of had an idea of how, to, you know, uh -huh. what it was like, you know, being, uh -huh. and from what I gather here uh, is that, you know, sometimes, you know, regardless of what you get or what you do, uh -huh. you know, you always have to have a, a good heart and approach it without, uh -huh. regardless of the negativity you get. Uh -huh. I'm a fourth year, I'm gonna graduate. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna graduate by in June. In June of this year! Alright, so um so um so what kind of school experience that brought you here? What what do you need to do? I'm sorry? What kind of school experience? What what do you Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a I'm a dental student, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh you know um this is like my focus with dental working with dental related health. Okay. You know, and uh So what did you do to get to the dentist? Oh okay, well Okay, so I'm, I'm from Long Beach area, uh -huh. LA area, so um, for me, you know, I've, it's been a long approach, you know, I'm a little bit older now, uh -huh. but, you know, I saw that dentistry, I'm from Long Beach, so, you know, over there is only one Canadian dentist. Uh -huh. um, I'm here in Oakland, I don't know if there's any, uh -huh. I haven't met anybody yet, okay. but, uh, and I know there's, there's, there's a couple in Stockton as well where there's, you know, little Canadian issues, uh -huh. and, um, you know, for me, it's like I want to pave the way for the next generation of okay. dentists to, um, you know, go and, you know, get into the field because it's very needed, you know, yep. without many more dentists. And by doing this, you know, hopefully it will influence the next generation to, you know, to uh, give an idea of, you know, what we need to do or, or the information we need, you know, to, uh, to get in order to serve our communities. So what's your background like to get to where you are today? Oh, okay. So I went to... Um, so, uh, my, you know, when I got out of high school, you know, I graduated high school in Norwalk. Uh, I went to UCLA, uh, graduated with a bachelor's in biochemistry. Okay. Uh, took, actually, took a lot of years off uh -huh. because, uh, you know, I have some health issues. Yeah, yeah. And um, I eventually got out of my mind. And so, um, you know, but my, still, my focus was still on doing dentistry. Did you always wanted to be a dentist? Yes, I've always, oh. since, since the oh. first year of, of, of uh, UCLA. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I had some, you know, barriers and problems on the way. And then so after that, you know, um, like I went to a post back program uh -huh. here, at, here at San Francisco State. Uh -huh. And here, I'm, here I am now, okay. going to graduate in about a year. Okay. And about, well, actually, one of the biggest things I wanted to mention is uh -huh. that, you know, you know, as someone who's been through a lot of adversity, yeah. you know, regarding health, regarding, yeah. you know, um, education and all that, uh, I want to give, I want to say that, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Okay. I've been through quite a bit, uh -huh. and I want to say that do not give up if you have your goals and, you know, and your aspirations. Continue to do what you can. Uh -huh. There's people like myself, and course you from your life, yeah. will help you guide the way okay. if you need it. Okay. okay. For anybody who's looking. Okay. Okay. All right. So what are you going to practice here in the Bay Area? Well, uh, <laughs> so we'll, my, my main focus was actually to go back to Long Beach. Oh, okay. But I'm, I've been very, um, I've been growing very fond of the Bay Area, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I see the need here as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I see myself actually coming back and forth. Okay. Maybe I can do something where okay. um, you know I come up here okay. and uh, you know do some service for you know those who, you know, who need it. I know that you know dentistry is a it's a, it's a in, in terms of service and influence you need to have an education to be able to and be able to speak the language to you know older older adults yeah. to be able to yeah. treat them the right way. Okay. And, uh, and one of, one of the most important things about dentistry is prevention. Okay. So be able to lay out, you know, a foundation of uh, information and education that can greatly influence the younger generation to, you know, take care of the team more. Because um, in relation to the research, I did, uh, you know, there is um, some research in Cambodia right yeah, now where yeah. there is a score called the BMFT, which is uh, the Kate Missing Field Team. Yeah. That's the that's the translation. Yeah. And Basically, it's an average of all the decayed missing field teeth in your mouth, right? Cambodian children ages 6 have an average DMFT score of 9, which means that 9 of their teeth are either decayed, missing, or filled teeth. Oh. Okay? Okay. So, that's among the highest in the world. Probably the, the highest, actually. Okay. And so, 
Yeah. So what causes that? that? What causes that? Well, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just assuming some things, but the Cambodian industry, there's a lot of sugar processing. Okay. Kids don't, there's not, the culture doesn't have, um, uh, you know, there's not uh, much um, influence in, uh, not influence, but the emphasis on dental oral health is not as emphasized in the culture. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Not brushing the teeth, okay. not, you know, no coordinate, no, uh, coordinated, uh, sorry, uh, chlorinated water. Uh -huh. Sorry, I don't know yeah. this right now. <laughs> okay, and uh, so, uh, you know, those are some of the things that are needed, you know, to make sure people have healthy, you know, oral health, you know, and, and teeth. So, so what's your last recommendation for the community? Uh, well, my recommendation is, like I said, you know, you have to have a really big heart for the community. Because regardless of, you know, the, the, the troubles and issues that you go through yeah. with the community, yeah. you, you still continue to strive to do good. Okay.